Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. So today I want to share with you my favorite snuggle fragrances, I guess. Netflix and chills. <laughs> Uh, type of fragrances you know when you're sitting at home with your partner watching a movie or sitting by a fireplace or you know just having some time together these are the fragrances that I would choose and I would recommend first one that I want to mention comes from my favorite house of Sergeov and this is called Shunkoin and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but that's how I would say it. This is such a beautiful, serene fragrance. That, that's really how I would describe it. Now, this comes from Join the Club collection, which is, uh, you know, fragrances in these beautiful blue bottles. And uh, the official notes for these are hidden or unavailable. So, I am going by what's listed on Fragrantica, but you know, take it with a grain of salt. These are probably not very accurate. Although for this fragrance, they seem to be pretty on point. Uh, that's really how it smells to me. So the notes in here are vanilla, sandalwood, orris, powdery notes, tea, uh, woody notes, cherry blossom, olibanum. Um, and this fragrance is just so serene like that's really what i think about when i think about this scent you know it is very smooth it is understated it, it has a hint a hint of sweetness and it has a hint of powderiness and in the opening there is a bit of that cherry blossom scent which to me uh, um, has always been kind of um elegant gentle type of floral scent and there is a bit of tea here as well so you know all of these sort of uh, notes that are listed they're all present here but in such a light understated way and they all mix together in in a beautiful way so it's a little bit powdery, a little bit sweet, a little bit even nutty, very smooth just serene relaxing beautiful type of scent you know and if you just want to snuggle together spend some quiet time together this is the fragrance that i would choose so again this is shunkoin from xerjov next is a long time favorite this is scandal à paris from jean paul gaultier long long time favorite and i love the scent just as much now as when I first got it. I have not gotten tired of it. And this would be one of my top choices for a snuggle type of fragrance. This one has pear, jasmine, and honey. And it really feels like honeyed pear with some jasmine added in. Everything is beautiful it is sweet it is playful but at the same time it is kind of relaxing that's why i think it will work for uh you know snuggling together spending time with your loved ones spending time with your partner whatever it is that you're doing i think this one is going to work for sure another choice is poison girl from dior i think i have the eau de toilette version um this one has uh orange in here it has vanilla there is caramel there is tonka there is orange blossom and some other notes and mostly i'm getting um orange together with um tonka and vanilla and it makes it sweet and sparkly and even a little bit fresh um it's not overpowering and it is very playful and it is very sensual and for netflix and chills i think it's a great choice next one on my list is a fragrance from guerlain and it is queer beluga uh this is a really interesting 
vanilla scent that has a bit of suede added in. There is also tangerine or aldehydes. There's immortal, patchouli, heliotrope, amber. And this fragrance is sensual, soft, elegant. I think it's a very understated, sexy scent. You know, it's not powerful in your face, but there's something very sexy about this scent. I think it's, uh, I don't know, it's the addition of, uh, maybe, maybe it's the addition of uh, suede to this vanilla scent. Altehydes, I don't really get in here, and I'm not really getting tangerine either. It's just, you know, amber and vanilla and immortelle are all mixing together, giving this sort of a sweet, even slightly bakery uh, background to all of this. And then the suede comes in and makes it sensual and sexy and cozy. And there are a lot of elements to the scent and um, that's why I've chosen it here. I think it will work for different uh, snuggly <laughs> situations, let's call it that. So Cure Beluga from Guerlain. Now, if you're looking for something really simple and fun and um, sweet and just kind of um, easygoing and inoffensive and playful, then I would go with this really tacky bottle, but delicious juice. This is um, Viva La Juicy Sucre from uh, Juicy Couture. Um, yes, the bottle is tacky, but I am still a fan of this fragrance. You know, this is very, very sugary. It, it, it looks like a cupcake and yes, it smells like a cupcake. Um, that's really what it is. I mean, if you look at the notes, there are a lot of them. There are, you know, there are citrusy notes, there are fruity notes, there is uh, almond cream, there's orange blossom, there's whipped cream, vanilla, cacao, sandalwood. Well, yes, all of that, but it just literally smells like a very, very sweet, sugary cupcake. And, you know, sometimes there are, uh, when you're snuggly, snuggling with someone watching maybe some uh, comedy on Netflix or something, just trying to relax in the evening, you just want to go for something simple and sweet like that. So that is my next choice, Viola Juicy Sucre from Juicy Couture. Next one I have is maybe slightly unusual scent. Well, this to me it is slightly unusual. This is from Chopard from their private collection, and this is called Vanille de Madagascar. Um, I have a sample here, and this is the most unusual vanilla scent. It has tea, it has bergamot, there's orange blossom, vanilla, of course, caramel, vetiver, and cedar, and this is kind of, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. It is somewhat green and somewhat smoky and somewhat earthy vanilla. A vanilla in here is not sweet at all. Caramel, I'm not getting at all. Uh, maybe there is a bit of tea in here. Maybe, but it kind of adds to that earthiness of this scent there's something there's something again very serene and kind of a uh, relaxing about this scent and i think this is something that i would wear if i was uh you know sitting by the fireplace somewhere it sort of slightly reminds me of a wood burning in a fireplace but in a very kind of light way. I'm probably not making any sense describing this fragrance, but it's kind of challenging to describe. This is very, very unusual. And this is a fragrance that sometimes I think, oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is so unusual. I need to have a full bottle. And sometimes I smell this and I think, oh, this is too unusual. I'm not going to reach for this. So I can't decide if I need a full bottle of this or not. I keep playing with this sample. I've had it for quite some time and I still cannot decide. Um, very, very unusual. I definitely recommend sampling this one if you have a chance. Very interesting, unusual scent. 
Next one is another kind of slightly perhaps strange scent. At least it might seem like that to some. This is a uh, green lover from Lolita Lampica. This is a scent that combines um, creamy smooth vanilla with a lot of brightness and freshness of citruses. Now, this is a fragrance marketed towards men, but I mentioned before, it is definitely, definitely unisex. To my nose, there is nothing masculine about this fragrance at all. And so, like I said, it has vanilla, it has musk, it has gin, it has green mandarin, it has mint. So you do get these fresh, um, bright elements uh, of mint and uh, green mandarin and juniper berries are in here as well. But then you also get this vanilla, which is quite creamy and a bit sweet. So some people might find it strange, but I don't. I really enjoyed the scent. I find it a little bit unusual, but really, really beautiful at the same time. And I think this would be really, really great snuggle type of fragrance. Can you believe it? But the next one I have is another fragrance marketed towards men. I mean, who am I here featuring <laughs> fragrances marketed towards men? I mean, I used to absolutely despise masculine scents and never thought that I could wear them. Just shows you how our noses and our tastes change. This is Bentley Intense for Men. I think this is the correct name. What a stunner of a fragrance. Uh, both my husband and I wear this one and I absolutely love this scent on him. This has become one of my favorite scents on him. Uh, if we're, you know, snuggling or watching a movie or sitting by a fireplace, whatever, I would definitely ask him to wear this scent. I think it is beautiful and it is perfect for, for that type of situation. But this is a scent that I also enjoy wearing as well. So to me, this is definitely unisex. Now, uh, this one has black pepper, bay leaf, bergamot, rum, woody notes, cinnamon, uh, geranium, leather, benzoin, patchouli, cedar. So Overall, I would describe it as a woody and slightly boozy vanilla with um, a bit of, uh, maybe a bit of earthiness. Uh, so patchouli are definitely coming through here. That's where I think the earth earthiness is coming from. Uh, but there's just something, something really sensual and seductive about this fragrance. And uh, the interesting thing is, you know, based on the notes, you might think that this is um, more suitable for colder weather, but the truth is, it's not very thick. It's not that overpowering. It works in the heat as well. My husband has worn it during the summer and it works beautifully. So this is a very, very universal scent in my opinion. It works any time of the year and it works beautifully on both men and women. So don't look at the label at the title that this is marketed towards men. I think women can wear this easily and is just... A gorgeous, affordable. The scent is very, very affordable. Uh, so this is a very affordable, very woody, slightly earthy and slightly boozy vanilla. Next one I had to include in here and we'll go through it quickly is La Belle from Jean-Paul Gaultier. I think this is a beautiful snuggle fragrance. It is so, so delicious. I know I enjoy it. My husband enjoys it on me as well. Um, I've looked on Fragrantica and it seems like, you know, originally we only had three notes listed and it seems like we have more notes listed now. So uh, it says that it has pear, bergamot, floral notes, leather, vanilla, vetiver, amber, and musk. Well, yes, I think most of us thought from the beginning that this was, uh, there was more to this fragrance than just the three notes listed originally. So Finally, we have a bit more information about this fragrance. You know, the note of leather totally surprised me because I don't get any leather or any even reminder of <laughs> leather being anywhere near this fragrance. So 
uh, thankfully I don't get it because I think it would would ruin the fragrance for me but you know that's the note that's listed in here but you know vanilla pear yeah that all makes sense it's a very juicy sweet uh pear and it does have a bit of freshness so we always attributed that to um vetiver yeah I'm kind of sticking to that I don't know pear vanilla vetiver what we had originally really made sense at the same time you know yes it, there must be more notes in here not all of the notes listed make sense but you know who cares this is a sweet juicy pear that's absolutely delicious absolutely beautiful and a great choice for a snuggle type of fragrance and the last one that i'm going to mention is for those that maybe don't enjoy very strong fragrances maybe for people who are sensitive to smell for those that might get headaches from different fragrance smells uh this one is definitely light airy very very inoffensive and again to me this is very unisex this can work for both it's almost like you know you can both wear the scent and it will work this is serena or serena from floris uh, this fragrance has seawater, bergamot, pink pepper, jasmine, berries, peony, rose, uh, oleander, musk, sandalwood, and it's one of those aquatic scents. Uh, uh, it definitely reminds you of being on a seashore, of uh, walking somewhere by the lake or by the sea or by the ocean, but you know, it has that aquatic feel and it does have some floral nuances so uh peony rose yes they're kind of mixing together there is a bit of uh red berries added in and a little a bit of musk added in as well so kind of floral aquatic is how i would describe it but it's definitely very light very inoffensive, like I said, for those that maybe struggle with strong scents or don't enjoy strong scents. So this would be a, a great snuggle choice. And there you go. These are my choices of, you know, snuggle type of fragrances when you're watching movies, sitting by the fireplace or just spending time together with your loved one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, Please remember to give me thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.